The theory of relativity of Albert Einstein made it easy for everyone. It'll make you a little smarter. I like to make things uh, complicated, things smart. Let's use an analogy of a car driven by an observer. This is just a car driving by you. What a, what a energy equal mass, blah, 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 saying that this car basically becomes smaller. As it drives away from the observer, from you, it becomes smaller. That's it. It doesn't look like smaller here, but that's what a theory of relativity say. First one is car becomes smaller. Second one is mass of the car increases. Basically, as the car accelerates, goes faster, the mass increases. The mass, the body of the car increases. How do we prove that? If a car hits a wall at 50 miles an hour, of course, it has more damage than 120 miles an hour. That's called kinetic energy, which is just basically the energy that a object has through motion. Okay, the motion is created by the by the gas, of course, by the gas and by the power. So the third one is the time uh, perceived differently from the observer, as we are observing, and the driver. So the time actually goes slower, is perceived slower from the driver as he accelerates in motion as the drive, as the car drives faster and faster. This is more valid, of course, when it comes to the speed of light. We'll talk about the speed of light and the implication. However, there is travel faster than light. There is travel faster than light. It is possible, not that there is. We'll talk about that later after we understand deeper the theory of relativity. So remember these three principles. Very simple. That's all Einstein said. That's all Einstein said. So what's so special about this formula? We'll talk about later.